Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme with She Had a God, and today I want to talk about Rachel, man, my second favorite Tower God character. Uh, Tower God is coming back hopefully by July, between July and September is what it's looking like, so exciting time. So I wanted to theorize and come up with a few ideas, uh, stuff that would like to happen to Rachel um, and her character growth and stuff like that. Uh, just, you know, I want to see, you know, what SIU has in mind for us, but I hope, you know, I'm kind of accurate. In, in my, I'm not really predicting in what I hope to happen. If I was predicting, I think, uh, you know, it'd be a different type of video. But I want to say what I want to happen rather than just um, predict what I think will happen. So it's it's kind of um, an interesting thing here. So we have Rachel, who a lot of, you know, the fan base hate. But I think, you know, it, it's hated because she's so well written rather than hated because she's a poorly written character. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's it's just really intriguing, man. It's really intriguing, and since she, you know, her, her journey through the tower and how she's like undeserving, and the the first floor um dude was like, yo, like you don't you're not supposed to be here type shit, but she's she you know she's an irregular because of that, but she's like an anomaly for an irregular, like you know what I'm saying. But it seems like she has insane sense of resistance, like even in her weak ass form, like it doesn't seem like she struggled with sense whatsoever so there's definitely something there that you know maybe the story is purposely overlooking to reveal later because if you consider it and think about it the fact that even she took the power that she was given so easily and and she's never had any any single problem with sinsu i think kind of says that yo maybe maybe she's more special than we think because all of these irregulars have insane powers and they usually, you know, gain it rapidly, right? We understand that. Rachel is an anomaly of an anomaly. Like, irregulars are an anomaly. Rachel is an anomaly of an anomaly. Like, see a situation that essentially doesn't happen by the looks of it. Um, so, I'm really, really interested to see how that's going to play out. Will her powers manifest in a completely different way? Will she be more powerful? I hope she's the final boss. I'm not going to lie. I think, you know, uh, Zahad or Jahad is great. Um, but I think, you know, Zahad or Jahad is a means to an end. I think Rachel is the is the Sasuke of the story. You know what I'm saying? So he's like the final battle type. She's like, sorry, the final battle and shit. You know what I mean? So I'm really, really intrigued and interested to see how that plays out. I hope she gets, she becomes more badass and she, she starts whooping ass because she's been pathetic for about 500 chapters. No cap, like in terms of like power. She's just a great manipulator. She's great at chatting shit. She a bit like me. Although I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a manipulator, but I'm good at like chatting, you know, and, and, and getting people to, I want to say do stuff, but like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's how, yeah. But it is what it is, bro. I think, I think it's, it's an interesting characteristic because obviously you can have that and use it for like positive and you can have it and use it for negative. And obviously Rachel herself is just a motherfucker. So she uses that shit for her goddamn self and she does what she wants, when she wants for her. You know what I'm saying? And she, she kind of, you know, and you know, this is probably why I like Rachel. I think I see myself in her in terms of like, she sees like the world is unfair. She feels like the world is unjust and unfair and that she deserves more. You know what I'm saying? In life, like she deserves to be famous. She deserves to be successful. She deserves to be powerful. Like why are motherfuckers just gifted with this shit and she gets nothing? Why can't everybody start on the same level field? That's her philosophy. She's like, bam, just woke up. Boom. Fucking uh, chosen to get in the tower. You know what I'm saying? Born by OPS parents. Got them. Uh, has a whole prophecy written about motherfucker. She out here like, what about me? Like, what? why does he get all that shit? And I'm just out here, the tower ain't trying to get, even though I want to go through this journey for the tower, this motherfucker don't even care, he didn't even know about this shit. I want to go to the journey to the tower, I get nothing, I get nothing. I get to the freaking tower, I get no powers, I get absolutely zitch, nada, I'm not that pretty, I, like, what is going on? What is happening here, you know? And then, um, obviously then, when, when, you know, when you see, like, this motherfucker and all these other dudes just getting gifted, all type of shit, bro, like, oh, boom, here, you have extra power boosts, take it, bow, you know what I'm saying, Connor Guerrero now has some Phoenix fire power healing super shit, like, bam, they just get that shit, uh, goddamn Rack is, 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 is born from, like, a lineage of goddamn walking gods type shit, bam, powers, just like that, 
And Rachel was like, man, what about me, bro? I'm just out here. Like, what is this shit, bro? And so she, because of that, she resents that. She rebels against that. And I love that about her. Because I'm rebelling against that shit. Fuck all that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I love that shit, bro. I'm the little guy. I feel like Rachel. Rachel's that. She's the little guy. She's the little person in this massive world where motherfuckers are just like born in rich families and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, 97% of successful people have success successful parents or come from a rich background. It's very very rare for motherfuckers to really come from the bottom and make it out this bitch you know what i'm saying and if they do they usually have a connection they usually know somebody or meet somebody in life that you know what i'm saying there's a lot of luck involved with succeeding there's also a lot of ground involved with succeeding if you look at you know a lot of youtubers that's why people love youtubers that's why youtubers have some of the strongest fan bases because these motherfuckers out there every day making youtube videos but a lot of them have to be in a position where you can sit down at home every day to make youtube videos that is a privilege a lot of motherfuckers don't have that privilege, you know what I'm saying? And I'm admitting that I have that privilege, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is crazy, bro. So, uh, but you also need the work headache to keep it going, blah, 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 blah. And so Rachel is kind of like, she's she's an anti, like, motherfuckers just being gifted shit, right? If you look at Naruto, you look at Sasuke, those motherfuckers were just gifted with powers. So Naruto had the goddamn Nine Tail, uh, the Uzumaki bloodline, and the, uh, the Namakaze, which we don't really know what the fuck... He, he, type of shit he had, but he was so OP that, like, obviously, Minato was so OP that, obviously, Naruto got some goddamn OPness from that, too, and then he got the strongest demon fox that's, like, half of it is stronger than all the other eight tails combined type shit, like, in him, on top of that, and he befriends him, so he's just, and then he gets Jesus powers on top of that shit, Sasuke is similar shit, so, like, then if you like, uh, you know, do you remember Orochimaru's ninja, bro, that that, that that he was looking out for? And the little boy just ran into war, bro, got killed by a goddamn tag mind, bro, boom, exploded. And, uh, and he was like, damn, bro, like, motherfuckers just dying out here, bro, you know what I'm saying? No wonder he started experimenting on people. He didn't want motherfuckers to just die out here like this no more, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like Rachel is the same way, bro. She got the same energy, bro. She like, yo, hold up now. <laughs> Hold up now, these motherfuckers, like, this girl pretty, powerful, all of that shit. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> how, how she get all the cards? Okay, make her pretty, but then don't give her power. Okay, make her powerful, but don't make her pretty. I'm not pretty, got no powers. Like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, it's like when you dealt the wrong hands, or you that no, like, you playing goddamn poker, and you just get the worst deck of cards, bro. This is why I love Rachel, bro, because she is that person. She's you. She's you. A lot of y'all won't admit this shit, but she is you. She's a representation, a representation of you. Yeah, you might not be as spiteful as her about it. You not, might not get as angry about it. You might feel motivated, or you might not have the same type of goals as her, but, like, if you have lofty goals like she do, like I do, like, that shit, that shit can get annoying. Like, you can be like, man, fuck these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's not, it's not, I'm not saying it's a good trait, I'm not saying it's a positive trait, it's a, it's, it's a negative trait, I can agree with that. But it's real, it's real, bro, motherfuckers get jealous, motherfuckers get angry, motherfuckers get all type of weight in their feelings. Like, a lot of people will not admit it, they'll act as if, oh, eh, I don't care about that, I don't care about this. But they do, inside the room, in the room place, they're thinking about this shit, like, damn, bro. Why can't I get this girl, man? Why? What does girl like this motherfucking Chad who rich, has is handsome, drive a car, and is a prick? But what are you? You you ugly or, or average or whatever, not rich, like not successful. Why would they date you? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel the same. Like, if a girl don't want to date me, bro, I'm, I, at this stage, I'm not even like, yo... Man, for that bitch. It's just like, yeah, okay, fair enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep it moving. Like, I, I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would date me because personality, but, like, obviously, personality ain't everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not, bro. Don't, don't let nobody tell you that shit. It's not. A motherfucker can learn to love you if, like, if y'all just really connect type shit. But that's lots of rare occasions out here in there, baby, bro, no cap, bro. And that's why I fuck with Rachel. Cause she, she said, fuck all that shit, bro. Fuck all that. I'm going to become pretty old by force. What do you think people get plastic surgeries all around the world, bro? You know what I'm saying? She said, fuck a plastic surgery, bro. I'm going to change myself, construct. Like, I'm going to just goddamn possess myself and it be make me prettier, bro. That's one of my goddamn demands. I'll help you make me prettier. She got prettier. Make me powerful. She got a motherfucking demon inside of her or some shit, bro. I love that shit, bro. That's the type of energy. You know what I'm saying? I like my... She's a go-getter, bro. How can you not appreciate Rachel? She's a go-getter, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, 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 she hurt Bam a bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she might have tried to kill Bam a few times. Like, yeah, she might be a psychopath. Yeah, she might be a sociopath. Yeah, she might be a little bit, you know what I'm saying, crazy. But come on. <laughs> it's understandable. No, it's it's, 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 it's realistic. It's realistic. People are like that. People are sadistic, you know. Besides... <laughs> Oh man, I love making videos like this, bro. Where I can just chop my shit, bro. It's it's just way more enjoyable for me, bro. I, I you know I was trying to I was actually struggling to pick a topic because like all these new chapters like Week Hero and all that, all that shit they they just wasn't like hitting, bro. They didn't like inspire me to be like I want to talk about some shit. And I was like thinking Talgo is coming back. What can I talk about there? I, I I can't make every video about Wangnan as much as I'd like to. I can't make every single video about Wangnan. So what do I talk about? What do I talk about? And then Rachel, I was like, what should I talk about? What can I talk about? Rachel, and I'm just talking about Rachel in reality. I don't even know what the fuck I'm gonna title this video. Oh, it's gonna be tough, man. But hey, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. You know, I really want Rachel to succeed. I, hey, I'm, I'm rooting for Rachel. <laughs> I'm rooting for Rachel. Wang Nan first, <laughs> right? But she gotta come close second. Now we already know Bam is gonna be first, but like, you know, let a motherfucker dream, man. Let a motherfucker dream, bro. Anyways, this video boys the Pimpy to God. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope if you hated the video, mm -hmm, I don't know. I hope you you at least laughed or something. Um Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're almost at 800 subs. Uh, I feel like we can re we can reach 800 subs by the end of the month, hopefully. Uh, we don't get as much subs because I, I, I took too many breaks. I, I didn't really take breaks. I was just busy. <laughs> but, you know, I need to, like, start making more videos in advance. But topics, man. Comment down topics below. I, I know I need to catch up on some of your guys' recommendations. It's just really hard for me to start new stories right now. Um, but I will try my best at some point. It's been your boy, Supreme Chain of God. I'm out! Blade!